Hello everyone, it's Dee the Makeup Artist, and well, it's really late, and I was kind of bored, and I wasn't sleepy, because yesterday I got more than enough sleep, so I just decided to, after I finished editing a few videos, I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial before I went to bed. Well, today I'm going to do a look, it's called the Pink baby the pink has it tonight so I'm gonna let you check out the eye over here I've already did the one eye and we're gonna start on the other eye basically I already used my foundation I used my um, clay medium by Flora Roberts and I followed it with the clay medium dark powder and as you can see I kind of started on one of the eyes because I'm in such a habit to do both eyes um okay I dropped my paper towel so um if you look at my eyebrow I did go ahead and make it a little bit lighter because I decided to put on my little wig that has the little red tips on it. I looked at a couple of my videos and I was like, oh my goodness, I look so much like my dad. So, I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and cover up my natural hair right now. So, this is called Pink Baby. Basically, I'm using Zoom which is a really cool pink color it's pearly and I'm just going right across the lid and I'm actually taking it over a little bit further like on the outside of my iris on the eye just a little bit not a lot and then I'm gonna follow it with shock <laughs> this is shock and I'm going to do this on the inner corners. I mean, outer corners. <laughs> and then, lastly, I'm going to take the pixie dust which is a um, mineral eyeshadow and I'm gonna take that one and make sure I don't have too much product and I'm gonna go right up under my eyebrow I'm gonna follow it all the way to the tail And I'm going to take it right here in the middle here of those two colors to separate them. You got to blend really good. When you're doing your makeup, these brushes are like so important. Um, I usually get um, the real hair brushes. Like this one right here, this is a chisel brush. I've had this brush for years and I mean it doesn't shed it's nice and soft all I do is just shampoo them in between uh, usage these are my own personal brushes but I do shampoo all of my brushes I have tons of brushes that I use um, the larger the events that you do as a makeup artist I think the more brushes you have okay so there you have those three looks okay I'm going to get this other brush just to make sure that everything is blended. And I'm going to get my clay medium dark powder and go around. And then I'm going to get my 
beautiful savannah this is like one of my favorite colors because I can use this with any um, you know to give a little contrast or whatever I can use this with any colors I can use it with the pinks I can use it with the browns I can use it with any color greens whatever it looks good going up underneath that lower on the lower lash line with the savannah and then I'm gonna go right here on the tip of my upper lash line make sure it's blended pretty good now this brush right here is a very very small blender brush can you see it? I don't want to get too close it's a very small blender brush it's like really little you see it'll go right up under here with ease see? this is a very small blender brush then I'm gonna take zoom again and I'm gonna go right up underneath here make sure the two sides match Take them up a little bit right in here. Okie dokie. Very simple. I'm going to take my mascara and just coat my lashes before I put my false lashes on. Doing the bottom and the top. Now the number lashes I'm using today are the number 20 in the pink pack. I really like the way those look on my eye. Um, so those are the ones that I chose. Now the adhesive that I use is Lash Grip. Now, a lot of people use the duo eyelash adhesive. Um, I don't really like the duo because after a while it starts to separate and it doesn't really hold as well. Plus, um, I really don't want people to keep on strip lashes for a very, very long time. So, I want them to touch them up and come back to see me. <laughs> but anyway. Plus, it's not good to really have, you know, something on your eyes for a long period of time. A lot of times, people don't really clean um, their eyelash line really well, and they can get infections and all kind of gook and dirt and stuff like that up in their eye. You want to be really careful about not cleaning around your eyes. You only get two pair. I mean, you only get one pair, <laughs> two eyes. Okie doke. Now I'm going to put this eyelash on. Now how I usually do it, I usually pull my eyelash, my um, eyelid outward. And I don't like for mine to be too tacky because I like to be able to move my lash around. 